Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start this morning, but I have a bunch of errands I need to run. So I dropped Aniston and her best friend off at school. I came home and finished getting ready and it's like almost 10 right now. Annie gets out of school at 1230. So I need to run and exchange something at Old Navy. Um, I was gonna get some gift bags for the teacher gifts and then I wanted to get those together and show you guys what I got the teachers. Um, I need to go to Sprouts and I wanted to look for one more thing for my niece at Home Goods. She wants some like paintings for her bedrooms or her bedroom <laughs> and you find those paintings at like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. So I have like three or four stops I want to make in like a two hour time period before I need to come home, get my groceries put away really quick and then run and pick up Annie. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, so I always come to like TJ Maxx for gift bags. They have the cutest ones. So here's a huge gift bag. It has the tissue paper and everything and I think it's only $2.99. And they've got a bunch of different ones to choose from. So I think I'm gonna pick out some of these for the teachers. A lot of cute small ones. Christmas cards. And I think I'm also gonna look for a white elephant gift for Chris to take to work while I'm here, so. I need big ones because they're getting a blanket, so I don't know. I might also check there's Home Goods. The Nutcracker one's okay. It's not my favorite. I think I'll check Home Goods too. Okay, first, the white elephant gift at Chris's work. I'm thinking of this bottle caddy and coaster set. It's really nice. And then I thought maybe he could add a six pack of beer to it. So I need to find a bag for this as well. But like I said, I didn't find any that I liked here at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to check Home Goods. But first, I need to go buy this. And then I'm going to return my shirt at Old Navy or actually exchange it. And then run to Home Goods. So we will see what else I can find. All right, guys, I just got home from running my errands. Um, after I left TJ Maxx, I ran over to Home Goods and I found a few things for teacher gifts to go with Cohen's teacher's gift. So I wanted to show you guys that really fast and then I went to Sprouts. So here is what I found at Home Goods. So I already showed you guys this bottle caddy with opener. This is for Chris's white elephant gift at work. He's gonna get like a six pack of beer to go with it. And then I got this really cute. This was from TJ Maxx. They also had one at Home Goods, but then I got a really cute Christmas bag and I was thinking of putting it in here if it's not too big with the six pack of beer. Um, and then I was gonna buy the teacher gift bags. I need four of them, but I thought I have some at home that are Christmas ones. So let me go through and check what I have before I buy a bunch. Cause I only really use the gift bags for like teacher gifts. Um, I wrap all the kids as presents. So I wanna check what I have. And then if I need them or only need one or two, I can go back and get more. So Cohen's teacher is like me. She's obsessed with Ray Dunn and she doesn't have the chance to get out and hunt for it much since she's always at work. And she really only wants Christmas mugs. That's like her one thing she wants. She has everything else she needs. So I was at Home Goods looking for the bags and I found three mugs. So first I found Noel and I went ahead and bought it. And I was looking around the store some more before I left and I saw this in checkout. So I was super excited to find this because Feliz Navidad is Cohen's absolute favorite Christmas song. It's actually one of his favorite songs ever. He wanted it to be his walkout song for baseball. So I might keep this mug for Cohen and then give his teacher Noel and Merry Christmas to go with the other stuff I got her. Um, she was his teacher in kindergarten as well and she's amazing and all of my kids' teachers are amazing. I love them all so much. Like they could not have been blessed with better teachers. But just knowing how much she loves Ray Dunn, I was super excited to find these for her. So I'm pretty sure we're going to keep this one for Cohen because, I mean, that kid is so stinking cute and he's obsessed with it. But those are the mugs I found. And then I wanted to show you guys what I got at Sprouts. This was all like $52, which is kind of spendy for Sprouts. But I got the kids some of this secret stash. We haven't tried this before, but I think it's just like the pirate booty. It's the cheese flavored corn puffs. I also got the peanut butter puffs. Um, we have not tried those either, but I thought Cohen would really like those. He's a huge peanut butter fan. I got more of the Dr. Prager's for myself. They only had one of the black bean and quinoa, so I got a, one of the mushroom risotto. More rice cakes, a couple honey crisp apples. They are huge, so I just got a couple. Um, more cuties, 
Blueberries are Cohen's favorite. A couple bunches of bananas. We go through a lot of bananas, red grapes. Chicken was on sale for $1.99 a pound. So here's a little over three pounds of chicken for $6.21. So I got a couple packages of chicken and then I just separate it and freeze it like each chicken breast in a bag because they're like a pound each. Um, I got more unsalted roasted almonds and then I was starving when I was there. So I got some unsalted cashews and ate some on the way home. And then more broccoli. I've been like obsessed with roasted broccoli lately. I do it with like garlic and Parmesan cheese and do it in the oven. It's so stinking good. So I'm going to get all of this stuff put away. I have to leave here in like 15 minutes to get Aniston from school. So I'm going to put this stuff away and um, probably play with the puppy a little bit, huh? Bella. Hey. Bubbles. Hi, Tilly. You want me to play with you too? So I will come back and show you guys. I'm just going to kind of do a vlog of our day after I get Anna from Aniston from school. We don't really have a whole lot going on. She's already eating lunch at school, so I'll probably come home and make some yogurt and um, just get some stuff done around the house. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away. So I was digging in the closet really fast under the stairs where I keep all my gift wrap and everything, and I found these two cute snowman bags. This one might be a little small for a blanket. Um, I might try to make it work in the blanket can just stick out of it or I could see if this isn't too snug that's probably too snug to fit in it um so I think I'll keep the big one for this and then try to do these two for teacher ones and then I'm gonna need a bigger one for Cohen's teacher and then a couple taller ones probably again like this for the other teachers so I think I only need to buy two gift bags now which is nice because they're only like $2.99, $3.99 each at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. And I checked the Dollar Tree and I didn't see any that I loved. Um, but it's nice to just save a little bit when you've got four teachers that you're buying for. So I think I will use what I have and then I'll go back to Home Goods or TJ Maxx and grab two more. Um, I probably won't go until, I don't know, next week. I'm not in a rush. Like I'm probably gonna have them take the gifts to their teachers the last day of school, which is the 20th. So maybe I'll go next week one day while Aniston is at school and grab them then. But I am officially done Christmas shopping, you guys. I finished shopping for Chris, finished shopping for the kids, finished shopping for my nieces, and got his white elephant gift, all the teacher gifts. So I'm excited. I think it will be time to start wrapping soon. So I'm going to head out now to go pick up Aniston. Look who I got. Say hi. Hi. How was your day at school? Good. Show them your stamp. What's your stamp of? Rudolph the Red Deer Reindeer. And then she proceeded to step in a big pile of mud after I told her it would be a bad idea. So we had to take our shoes off. We're going to go home and wash our shoes. Ugh. Set them down here, actually. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So we're going to go home. Did you eat all your lunch at school? Yeah. No? What did you not eat? My apple. The apple you just had to have? Yeah, you didn't eat it? Can I eat that one we did? You may. Did you eat your sandwich? Actually, I would love you to cut up my apple. Oh, well, I would love to cut your apple up for you. Does that sound good? Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. Daddy is working from home today because he has a man cold. Can you say man cold? Man cold. Yeah, it's the end of the world. Yeah! But he's so dumb. Yeah, and now he's home because he has a man cold. So we are going to head home now. I'm going to have some yogurt and apparently cut up an apple for her so she can eat that. Did you eat your sandwich? Mm, I didn't eat the crust. You don't have to eat the crust. That's fine. Did you eat your granola bar? Mm -mm. No. What about your barbecue chips? Mm -hmm. I knew it. You're a chipaholic. Say hi, my name's Aniston. Hi, my name is Aniston. And I'm a chipaholic. And I'm a chipaholic. All right, let's. Mom, can I finish my lunch in here? Oh, I guess. All right, you ready to head home? Mm -hmm. All right, say bye. Bye. Okay, so we are home from school, and I'm going hi, to make hi. my lunch. Aniston says hi. I'm cutting with a real knife with my just cutting an apple with a butter knife. I'm going to try to kind of point the camera down here to show you guys what I'm doing. Let's see. 
Okay, so I have this every day for lunch. This is just plain non-fat Greek yogurt. Um, I usually get it at Costco or Walmart. This is the great value brand because I have not been to Costco in a while. And Greek yogurt is super sour. So, what babe? I always just add cinnamon to it, a lot of cinnamon. One second, can you watch out for a second? Just set it up here, go get a step stool and you can stand right there, okay? And then I always add some honey. And my favorite almond butter. I love the almond butter from Sprouts and also the almond butter from Costco. And I just kind of drizzle the almond butter on top. To do it right here, mom. Okay. Then. Hi, guys. Hold on, and I'll let, I'll put the camera on you in just a second, okay? I add whatever fresh fruit I have, so I'm gonna do blueberries today. Can it's I, really good. Can I tell them something? Real fast. Guys, I'm cutting with a real butter knife. Oh my god. Do you want to see? In a minute, okay? Actually, I need to grab a butter knife. I really like it with raspberries and strawberries in it too, but those were not on sale. So today I'm just doing blueberries and then I'm going to slice a whole banana into it as well. Mom. What? Do you need one apple in it? No, I'm not gonna have any apple in it, but thank you. That was nice of you, you to offer. You want to try it? Not right now. How about one that is um, fast? Right. Yeah, so then I add granola and I just kind of sprinkle it on top. Then there won't be a lot of granola. I love granola. Then there won't be any seeds. Yep, and then some of the. There's no seeds. Can you let me finish this real fast? Okay. <laughs> and then I add some of the roasted unsalted almonds because I really like the crunch. So I just add a few of those on top. And then here is my lunch. It is delicious my favorite lunch ever super unhealthy with all the granola i'm sure but it's so good and i don't get tired of eating Can it I so i just a, mix it yeah hold on i just mix it all up before i eat it i mean no no you don't want, want it i want tin. i want sour tin with some meat <laughs> sour cream with meat well, this is yogurt, not sour cream. So here it is. And it's actually really filling because the Greek yogurt has a lot of protein in it. This one has 17 grams of protein for two thirds cup. The Costco stuff has even more like 20 or 21 grams. So, all right, I am going to let the puppy outside, eat my yogurt and get some things done before it's time to get the boys. We leave here in like an hour, hour and 45 ish minutes to get the boys. So. I'm gonna go eat my lunch real quick. I just wanted to show you guys what it is I have for lunch every single day. She got upset because I forgot to face the camera at her. So she wants to show you what she's doing. What are you doing, Annie? What are you doing? Cutting an apple. Cutting Can an you apple. help me? Yes, I will help you. All right, are you Can done showing them? Uh-huh. Okay. Can you cut it right now? Yes, I will. <gasps> stop, stop, stop. I just picked you up from what? School. Did you have a good day? Yeah. And I told you, what did I get you at the store? A Christmas mug. And what do you think it says? It's not this one. What does that one say? Merry Christmas. Okay, close your eyes. Hey, Jax, how was your day? I don't open, I don't open. Okay, what does it say? Fells. <laughs> Fells never dead. <laughs> what do you think that says? What does it say? You know what it says. Fells never dead. I can't. Fells never dead. Yeah, your favorite oh. Christmas song. Oh. Can I have the Christmas? Look. Oh, I bet this one's for me. Is this one for me? Please? Sure. Yay! Mama, Mama, this Feliz Navi Dog? Not, yeah, there was a dog bowl that said Feliz Navi Dog. You're right. Mom. What, babe? Hi, Bella. Um, oh, she has the hiccups. Is that the other one for my pizza? This one's for me. Eh? This one's for Miss Gore. All right, ready guys? No. Hold on, put the cups on, they're not washed yet. Oh gosh, let's, yeah, okay. We gotta go get your backpack out of the car, dude. Hey guys, so the boys came home from school and did their homework. Do you wanna come put the cheese in? Oh my, you have some messy hair. 
Um, and we're kind of just hanging out. Chris had to go teach class, even though he wasn't feeling well. It's their last night before Christmas break, so he had to be there. So I had leftover sweet potato skillet. There was only enough for one. So I made a Jackson. Yesterday, um, we had ramen. Yes, we did, and you really liked it, huh? Uh-huh. It was right for Daddy at the restaurant. Like spaghetti at the restaurant. She means like the lo mein at Chinese food. <laughs> You're right, huh? Do you want to dump the cheese in? Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me open it and you can dump it in. Yeah. What did you, what are we making for you and Jackson for dinner? Mac and cheese. They're just going to have some mac and cheese. Cohen is not a mac and cheese fan, so he wants breakfast for dinner. So he's having a waffle, which I have the toaster out. I'm just not putting it down until he comes downstairs and he's having some sausage. So because Chris is teaching, it's their last night of school, like I said, before Christmas mm -hmm. break. So he always buys the class pizza the last night. So he's eating pizza at school. Yeah. I figured let's just have a chill night. Thank you. And do mac and cheese for her and Jackson, breakfast for dinner for Cohen. And I don't have to cook tonight. Could you please throw this in the trash? Mm -hmm. Thanks. So, um, wrong way. Wrong way. So I'm just gonna get them dished up, they're gonna eat. I'm actually letting the boys play Fortnite right now, which they usually don't get to do on a weeknight, but I'm gonna let them do it because they finished homework and we don't really have anything else to do. So I got my kitchen cleaned up. I think I've got the teacher's okay. gifts mostly sorted out and I'll probably get them put together tomorrow. Okay. And I will do a um, vlog about that. But I'm really excited to give Jackson's teacher, or sorry, Cohen's teacher, the Ray Dunn. Um, so the Merry Christmas mug that I wanted to give to her, Jackson really wants, you will see it in the, you know, you, if you are watching, you've already seen it. He wanted the Merry Christmas mug. And I got Cohen the Fleece Navi Dog. Fleece Navi Dog. There was a Fleece Navi Dog dog bowl. Anyways, I got him the Fleece Navi Dog mug. So I'm giving Jack Cohen's teacher the Noel. And then... I have some mugs that I was gonna part with for her. Okay, from my own collection. So I was gonna give her Christmas and then Jackson's other teacher does not drink coffee. Yes, can you do two hands to the table please? Thank you. Um, she doesn't drink coffee. So I'm not gonna give one of his teachers a mug since she doesn't drink coffee. The other one does, so I'll give her a mug. And then Annie's teacher, I'm pretty sure does. I need to figure it out. And if she does, I'll probably give her one as well. Um, just from my collection, because I think it'd be cute to do Christmas themed mugs. And I feel bad if I keep the two I bought today, but the boys are like obsessed with them. So, and they drink hot chocolate and stuff all Christmas long. So anyways, enough rambling. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We're just gonna chill the rest of the night. I might go live on TikTok, or if that doesn't work out, I'll go live on YouTube. But I just wanted to do a little vlog today. And thanks for following me along with my errands and my everyday stuff. Um, I appreciate it. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to be sharing the Christmas present vlog in a couple days. I'm also going to share with you what I got my nieces. Like I said, the teacher gifts. I'm not going to share Chris's yet. Yeah. It's a big surprise because I'm afraid hi. he'll snoop and watch it. Annie says hi. Um, mom, mom, I have chocolate milk today. So can I have a little bit of noise? I don't think you had chocolate milk today. Here you go, bud. You need a spoon. Oh, she got one out for you. Um, you're welcome. So I'm also going to vlog Christmas morning and Christmas present wrapping and all that fun stuff. So and Nana's house. And Nana's house. Okay, so stick around. It's going to be fun. So I hope everyone is having a great week. And thanks again for tuning in.